Well, we also have a headline which which suggests that there are show trials going on. Yes. And that's ex B of A chief Lewis charged with fraud. Ken this Lewis. Is, this is Ken Lewis, the former chairman of Bank of America. Now he's been charged with fraud. And the headline reads like, well, we're doing something about all the financial crime that has occurred over the last few years. And sh surely Ken Lewis, Bank of America, big guy is going to be taken down. But it's actually just a civil case. Right. And then the article goes on, d d fails to mention that any involvement by Hank Paulson, Timothy Geithner, or Ben Bernanke. So Ken Lewis is like the OJ of this decade. That's right. It's a show trial. Ken Lewis is just a civil case. You might pay a little fine, but the criminality in terms of the forced marriage between Bank America and Merrill Lynch, which Hank Paulson, the, the capo de capo, the number one mafioso in the global banking scandal, put a gun to the head and said, you take this deal or you, you're going to take a cap in the back of your head, you're going to end up in the river, basically. <laughs> it's a mafia capitalism. Well, that's close to it because... Um, if you read the blogs, however, you'll find some of the information. This headline, Paulson admits coercion, where are the indictments? Now, this was in testimony before Congress, and Hank Paulson, who is uh, the Treasury Secretary at the time that Bank of America merged with Merrill Lynch, he admitted in testimony that he had basically coerced Ken Lewis into the deal, this forced merger, which now Ken Lewis is being charged with fraud for approving this merger without telling shareholders of Bank of America that, in fact, Merrill Lynch had $14 billion more in debt than they had actually admitted. Right. So Merrill Lynch had all these huge portfolio of bad debt due to the, uh, their, their, their involvement in collateralized debt obligations through the, the magic of the never uh, depreciating real estate market that they sold the world. And of course, banks all over the world have these non-performing mortgage-backed loans collateralized by tents somewhere in the Midwest by people who are surviving on peanut butter and tuna fish. And somehow that's worth a billion dollars in a CDO market. And of course, Merrill Lynch was saying, oh yeah, uh, we don't have any of that junk on our balance sheet. But now it turns out that even during the deal with Hank Paulson knowing the details, he failed to disclose. Failure to disclose, that's illegal. Well, it turns out that Hank Paulson had told Ken Lewis that um, if he didn't sign the deal, if he didn't agree to buy Merrill Lynch, that Ben Bernanke would have him fired. And when he was asked by Congress why he did this, uh, here's what he said. I was attempting to sent a very strong message. Okay, so th that's a great clip, and that'll go in the annals of American history when they r write the history of why America collapsed or due to the gulag state of, of America financiers and capos destroying the economy. It's apt that we're out here on this chilly evening discussing this in front of the Kremlin because you would think that America would have gone to school on what led to the Soviet collapse. But of course, they did learn nothing. And now they're having their own collapse, as uh, Dmitry Orlov, who we've had talking about before, talking about the collapse gap. There's a 15-year gap, basically, between Soviet Union collapse and America's collapse. And America is definitely in collapsing because of these show trials and the Ken Lewis scandals and the Hank Paulson and the Ben Bernanke and the Tim Geithner participating in fraud, more fraud, and, and even more fraud. And I might say, Max, I might add to that that Ben Bernanke is then in the headline following that, Bernanke guilty of coercion and market manipulation. And this is the, the follow-up to what uh, Hank Paulson came in. He was the tough guy. He said, you know, we're going to fire you. Ben Bernanke apparently came in according to emails released from the Bank of America investigation. And this is an email from Joe Price who's now being sued for fraud. He was the CFO of Bank of America. And then email he sent to Ken Lewis at the time, December 29th, 2008, read, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Ben Bernanke, indicated it would be structured in a manner, so it being the, uh, the merger, such that Bank of America stock should go up when what? announced. So he was, Ben Bernanke was rigging the markets. He, he was saying, take the deal and the stock will go up? That, that's exactly right. Right. So they're manipulating the price of the, of the stock. Now, actually, as, as memory serves, the uh, Bank of America stock didn't actually go up. No, it so didn't. So these guys are not only bad mafia captains, they're bad stock market manipulators. I mean, they should go to school in the hedge funds on Wall Street to learn how to really manipulate stocks instead of leaving it to the amateurs like Ken Lewis and uh, Ben Bernanke and Hank Paulson. They are amateur market manipulators. Even though Paulson was running Goldman Sachs as CEO for years, you would have thought he would have learned a little bit better about high-frequency trading and market manipulation. 
That's right. And then my final headline.